Welcome everyone, my name is Alistair from 24-7 Golf and I'm going to give you an orientation on how to connect your SkyTrack or SkyTrack Plus device to the PC, the laptop, and what you need to do to connect to your home Wi-Fi so that you can search courses on TGC, uh, and also connecting the device to TGC as well. And they're just the process that you need to go through each time you turn your laptop on and you want to play courses. First things first, you want to connect your device to your Wi-Fi card. So you want to turn your device on. It should have one green light and two red lights. And that means it's just it's waiting for a connection. So then you go into your Wi-Fi settings. You want to make sure you're in Wi-Fi 1. Your SkyTrack Plus should come up here. Uh, you want to unselect connect automatically, and you want to connect. If the... Uh, if you're doing this for the first time, it will ask you for a password. The password is SkyTrack Plus or lowercase, but it's SkyTrack P-L-U-S, all lowercase, and then you'll hit enter and that will uh, obviously connect your device to the laptop. It will remember that password once you've, um, you've entered it. If you use your SkyTrack device on another laptop or a, um, an iPad, it will ask you the same question. So just keep that, keep that in mind. As we can see, we're now connected. The next thing you want to do is you would have got a Wi-Fi, dual Wi-Fi uh, USB in your uh, package. It's a little black uh, USB extender with two antennas. Uh, so essentially, you want to connect to your home Wi-Fi by that. So you it, once you've connected it into the USB port, it will allow it will offer you two Wi-Fi channels. So as you can see here, I've gone down to the Wi-Fi section down here where the little uh, umbrella is. We're connected to the SkyTrack via Wi-Fi 1. In Wi-Fi 2, you want to connect to your home internet. I've already connected to our office internet here. So I know that the USB is connected to the internet. The SkyTrack is connected to the internal Wi-Fi card, which is perfect. It'll have a stronger connection if you connect it to Wi-Fi 1. Now, to play courses, we want to make sure that we're uh, opening up the SkyTrack TGC interface. The interface allows is basically just the connection to the device and to the program. So you'll load it up here. It'll take a couple of seconds and the device will be discovered and it will be up here. The next thing you need to do is just connect the device. So hit connect here, which is great. Um, It'll, it'll connect here. You can see the battery level is uh, 55%. It's connected. It's in direct mode. Uh, the next thing that will happen will be the console, which is the TGC console, this one here. This will pop up, which is perfect. Um, your license has all, all been added by um, our team here, so you don't need to change anything like that in the settings. Um, so you just click Start Game, Start TGC 2019, uh, is the next one. So this will load up the the, oh, the app, so to speak. Um, this is just the, I guess, the, the credits in the start of the game, who made it. You can just hit enter to scroll through these. So this is the home screen of TGC 2019. Using the arrows on your keypad, you can scroll across and look at the other features of the of the, uh, the app. I've got a driving range, chipping practice and punting practice if you want to use those. And then if you want to play online with other people that have got TGC or um, other SkyTrack users, you can do that through there. You can create your own line, online societies. There's a YouTube video on how to do that. Um, and then if you just want to play like a season, like the pros do, um, you can do solo society and that, that um, you can play against yourself in uh, like, like tournaments uh, and such. But if you just want to play golf, um, and just play all the courses that are available on the app. You can just click, click local match. Now I'll just run through, um, if you're, if you get into TGC and you're in the offline mode, it means that you're not connected to the internet. You need to make sure that you're connected to the internet. So you need to go back to the settings on your Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi 2 and make sure that you're connected to your home Wi-Fi via that. Um, you can come back into here and you just click online 
and it'll re-establish the connection. And then up here, you'll see that all your um, settings are saved um, and your name should be up there as well. So I'll just quick, quickly run through the settings. So audio, you can change the audio levels, the music volume in the background, the crowd volume and <coughs> the commentators volume. Uh, so if you want to get back out of the, the menu, you'll go back, you just press escape, top left button, gameplay, you can change things on the gameplay, like gimmies on the green. So if you want to, gimmies on the, you go on green, and then you can set the distance based on uh, what you want the gimmies to be. So you can always reset to the default if you need to. Uh, cameras is more about the camera angle that is shown um, for the shot tracer and things like that with when your ball flies uh, into the middle of the fairway hopefully uh, and then the display in HDU is um, changing you know metric to imperial it, it will be defaulted to imperial I've already changed this to metric so obviously helping uh, an Australian customer here and then the shot screen analysis is the data that pops up after you've hit a shot so it'll show you launch angle ball speed and all of that you can set the timer to be different, 10 second, no timer. Manual will turn it off um, if you just don't, if you want to get it around, uh, around quickly. And then the scorecard is the similar. So if you don't want the scorecard, you can just turn that off too, uh, to speed up your round. Um, and then, yeah, there's not much you need to really change apart from that. I'm just gonna go back. Graphics, you want to set it up to high, 144 hertz, 10, the 19, 20 by 1080, which is perfect for your uh, projector. That all comes default, so you don't need to change any of that. And then uh, you can have a scroll through that when you're in your own time. Let's go back and, and create a match. So what I'm gonna do is just click uh, this one. Now I've got it set to Pebble Beach, but if I wanted to try and find another course, I would click uh, uh, um, change course and then there are some ones that are recommended by TGC. You can click trending, play again, courses that you've already played. That'll uh, list the courses that they basically save into a list once you've played them. Continue playing is uh, if you've you know, got a phone call from work and you're playing a round of golf mid midday, uh, you can click continue playing the round. Uh, HB official is sort of the official courses of the PGA. You can use those. But yeah, trending usually around the PGA uh, and uh, the Tour Championship. So last week we had the Valhalla um, for the PGA and that was trending in the, the top of the list. But if you want to just search a course because you've got the list of courses that you want to play, you just click uh, more filters and click search and then you type the name of the course. Now TGC is pretty particular so you have to get the right spelling. So um, make sure that once you've found a course online, and I'll take you through that uh, in a in a little t uh, little bit. Um, there's a website that you can use as the encyclopedia for all the courses, because some of the courses are named differently to um, what they're actually named in in TGC, probably for uh, copyright. Um, so I'm going to go back here, and I'm going to go back again, because um, I'll just take you through, and you can change the course conditions, so you can green speed, we can change it to slow or moderate, fast, uh, green firmness, same thing. And then we are playing a par three, but if you were to play an 18 hole course, you can change the speed of the fairways by doing terrain firmness. Weather, time of day, we can do, uh, you know, dusk is a really nice um, time, so we can change that there. And then uh, play format, if you were to play a four ball, you can play stroke, stable food, four ball, um, match play, alternate shot and skins. These are all features that you can play against other friends when you bring them over. Um, and yeah, obviously change course and then change custom rules. This is a good one. If you're playing 18 holes, um, there will be a feature here where you can sort of, uh, how many holes you can play. So back nine and front nine. Um, and then we'll just create the match whilst we're at it. So here I can change the, the pins, the distances. Not all courses will let you change the pins. It just depends on the creators, if they've created that um, that option. We'll go back to the black tees. Um, if I wanted to add a player, I could do add guest. 
uh, confirm. And then if you wanted to you know, change them to the black tee, so you're playing off the same one, these are the pin positions. Also, if the creators op offered four different pin positions for four different days, they've sort of tried to match it for a uh, tournament. Um, but you can actually edit the golfer if for your friend, and you can do left and right-handed, um, and you can change their name and all of this uh, as well. So I'm just going to get back out of this. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to begin the round. Um, I'll take, take this one out, remove the player, and we'll begin the round. I'm So on your device, it should have two green dots, two green lights, and one red. Once the game uh, activates and you're on well, the team... Well, hello the there, ball. fellow human. My name is you John. I'd like to welcome you to the golf club. You can, uh, and we have a well, tiny course on the menu today. Let's get down to that first tee, see what we can do. As you can see, I'm ready to go 104 metres. It's nine metres downhill. They'll always show and it'll be always directed towards the pin whilst you're on TGC. You can see the dusk. I'm going to hit a shot. I've got a gap wedge. Uh, don't mind me. This is the first shot of the day. Okay, I've hit it. Oh, on the green. Oh, I hope this far. bites. All right. I'm just going to hit the next shot, which will be a little wedge back onto the green. Yeah, here's the shot screen, so you can see all the details of your shots. I've got 12 metres, one metre uphill. Um, just a nice little short chip. That might be too far. Oh, slow down, slow down. There we go. Yep. And I'll just try and cut this one in. Well, at least you are on the green. Okay, let's see what you can do with this eight footer. Here, the commentary. So as you can see, the lines that are going this way, you can either uh, putt just a little bit to the left of the hole, so just about there, or you can change the direction by using the keys um, so that you can hit a straight putt. So it's three meters. Nice little one. Oh, just. <sighs> This one in so that we can complete All right, drop the hole this one for the boat. Yeah, that's a good Perfect. There and a decent little putt to end this one. And that's TGC for everyone. So, what we'll do is I'm just going to get out of the ending TGC things off app. at one over today. Thanks for the round. Right, so I've just killed the TGC app. From down here, uh, the next phase is actually before I jump into the SkyTrack app, I want to make sure that I've, um, I'm not connected still to the TGC as this runs in the background, as you can see down here. So if I disconnect from TGC interface, perfect. You'll have one green light and two red lights on your device. Uh, get out of this. As you can see, this pops up and it's still running in the background but you don't know it, where it is on the app is actually just this little arrow here. So I'll exit out of there, bring the arrow up. And what you want to do is just to the right of your keypad, just which is the right, click the right side of the keypad and exit that application. That makes the TGC app completely not running in the background and it won't have any issues when you're jumping into the SkyTrack app. So just loading up the SkyTrack app just to give you a bit of an orientation on how to use it, what features you've got with the package. Um, but before I do that, uh, I'll just let this load up so you can see it. Um, so you can add your account details and password. You can click stay logged in and submit. What we'll do is, so this is just discovering the device. So this will be an orange. And because we've, we're in direct mode, it will pop up once. Yeah, so the red lights just come on the uh, the device uh, and it's pointing on the hitting mat. 
connected, direct mode, perfect. So you're ready to go. You can choose practice, challenge, or game improvement. Challenge is sort of nearest the pin, longest drive, um, and channeling in just trying to um, straighten up your drives and things like that. Game improvement, you can go through a bag mapping session and a wedge matrix. That's really, really good. But if you just want the driving range, you can just hit practice. And this will bring up the driving range uh, for you where you can choose your club. So to select a club, you just want to hit the green arrow. I've got a gap wedge in my hand, so I'll click that. Because it's in yards, you can change that settings. Um, you can change left and right hand. You can do your carry or total uh, just within this. I'm currently in yards, but I'll, I'll show you where I can change that um, after I've hit a couple of shots, uh, just so you can see this. Currently, it's set up for just the ball data, which is what SkyTrack original devices will, will see. If you have the SkyTrack Plus, you can click Shot Detail, and this will bring up the club data section, which is pretty handy. So let me just hit one shot to get a bit of data. Oh, a nice little butter fade to about 100 metres, 100 yards, I should say. Now you can see... Um, that was optimal ray angle between these two distances. A bit too much spin, so I'll probably have to work on that. But then you can see the club data. I've come across club path out to in, because which is obviously showing that faded shot. And my club face was 1.6 open, uh, closed to target. So it's obviously going to go left and then come back to the right. Uh, you can keep hitting shots, and you can get the shot score based on your uh, predicted handicap. This is what Skytrack can do. But what I'll do is I'm just going to exit out of this uh, their driving range. And I'll change the yards to meters uh, depending on what you want. So you click in through here. We've got right and left. And then yards to meters, you can click there. So all good. If you want, you want to make sure that your device is level. So we've got it sitting on a heading mat. Um, so it's perfect left and right. If you see, if it's roll, roll is like, tilt so i'm just tilting the device now so you can see the numbers go up and down you want to make sure that this is zero zero this is going to give you the best data to read and you can actually click alignment mode and it will give two red dots left and right to give you a straight line towards your simulator screen so you want to put a a an alignment stick or a golf club down pointing to the screen and then you put a golf club towards where that is and that's the center of where you want to hit too that's the center line on the driving range. Perfect. All right, I'm going to get out of the SkyTrack app and last thing I want to show you guys is the TGC courses. So I will save this onto your laptop, um, but it's just TGC courses and you can search them and it's just an encyclopedia of what the, the real name of the course is and then the TGC name. So you can search it up here um, this gets updated and then you can sort of basically pick the courses you want to play and you can see some of them are the similar name, some of them are different names. So you just need to make sure that you put the, the right name, uh, which is this, uh, the column two into, um, into TGC when you're searching courses.